From August 2015 to August 2016, the 380th Air Expeditionary Wing conducted over 5,500 precision airstrikes in support of the 20-nation air coalition working to rid the Middle East, Central Asia, and Northern Africa of extremist violence. Each coalition airstrike is delivered on a target that has been studied, vetted, and approved in an extensive process that begins with intelligence collection. Averaging over 12,800 images a month, the RQ-4 Global Hawks and U-2 Dragon Ladies, assigned to the 99th Expeditionary Reconnaissance Squadron, provide the foundation for the targeting process. The U-2 mission uh, with the 99th Expeditionary Reconnaissance Squadron is to provide high altitude, very high altitude, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance, more commonly known as ISR, uh, to the warfighter. There's a lot of stuff going on in the region, and the U-2 is there supporting pretty much every bit of it. Uh, we do that by taking a jet that has an immense amount of power, the most up-to-date sensors in the world, going out and being the nation's eyes and ears. I'm the Director of Operations here at the 99th. I'm also a flight instructor for the RQ-4. Any kill chain starts with high altitude ISR. If we're going to actually strike on a target, it starts possibly days or weeks in advance with pictures from this airplane right here. We'll push those images down to Intel and they'll take the intel that they need from the, those pictures and without that intel, without the drive from these pictures, we wouldn't be able to do the precision strikes that we're doing today right now. I'm a high altitude intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance officer in charge. One of the big things that American forces and coalition forces in general are extremely concerned with is ensuring that the collateral damage is either not there or that it's at a minimum. Uh, and so the images are used to ensure that anyone who is entering the area that is proposed to be struck is a bad guy, essentially. Uh, and so what we do is we'll have patterns of life where an asset is used to stare at that target location uh, and we'll make sure that you know it's only enemies with weapons, uh, that kind of thing. There are no children, there are no women around, uh, and no civilian population. We also ensure that there's no type of religious structure or protected uh, facility nearby, such as a hospital, uh, things like that. It's a great privilege to be the commander of a mixed fleet of high altitude ISR assets that bring similar capabilities to the fight, but they're different in different ways. Our unmanned systems are capable of much longer endurance, but their sensors aren't as capable at deep look and quality of imagery. Whereas with our U2 system, we've got a legacy system, but it's very well developed and matured in many ways um, to provide a capability of the warfighter that's unmatched by the unmanned systems presently. So we have a, a pretty amazing mix of both capabilities here that bring a balanced strategic approach to the warfighter that's useful to the combatant commanders. Tech Sergeant Jeremy Roman, Undisclosed Location, Southwest Asia.